The first thing I'm going to do is uh, lift, this is the only record player I'll probably ever get to do this with, is lift this whole drive system out of off of this sort of um, plywood platter or plywood um, um, frame. Lift this off of there so I can work on it more easily on the bench. What is really cool is that's going to make it really easy to work on this too because then I won't have the weight of that motor sitting there causing me trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and remove, it's only held in with three screws and there are captive nuts in the wood. So I'll take these three screws out and uh, I should be able to uh, uh, pull this whole thing out. Let me uh, get these screws out and then I'll start the video again. Okay, let's go ahead and I've taken this, the screws out. I'm gonna, I've got a good hold of this and see if I can't just lift it out of there. See what's holding her up. Ah, okay. I have to remove that lead. Let me do that off camera and I'll be right back. So we'll go ahead and uh, take this lead off of here. Okay, lead is off. Lifting the uh, the uh, makeshift plinth off of there. All right, here we go. One record player motor drive assembly. I don't think I've ever seen one in this condition before. But boy, will that make it easy to work on. Let's see if, yeah, there we go. That'll make it easy to work on. So let's take a look at it. The motor doesn't look too bad. It looks fairly clean. In fact, I'm looking at these these grommets or these suspension mounts and I'll be damned they, they actually feel pretty good so the idea is that these things need to be soft and cushiony you know provide cushion without being without uh, breaking down these look to be in really good shape so I don't think there's any point in replacing those this, guys, I think is going to be more just a take apart, clean, lubricate, put back together sort of thing. I haven't tested the motor yet. Um, I don't, I believe the owner thinks the motor works, so I'm going to give it a try. I'll hook her all up, and then we'll go ahead and test it out. All right, I've got it all connected up. The uh, switch is dead on this, so I'm going to have to, uh, I'm working without the switch here. And so what I've got is uh, just line voltage leads going to the motor leads, which has been disconnected from the switch. I like to do stuff like this on a box so that, uh, so that uh, I can kind of pack all the scary stuff down the way from me as I work on it. Boy, I'm, I've really got to get my tripod going, guys. Sorry, I, I'm working on it. So anyway, um, this is all hooked up, and I've got it plugged into my Variac, which is plugged into my isolation transformer. A word, guys, okay, a couple words, actually. I'm running line voltage now on leads that I can grab with my hands and hold on to. Now, that's one of the reasons I like to stick them down in this box. I can't say enough, and I know a lot of YouTubers say this, and you're tired of it. I can't say enough how important it is that when you got live voltage, that's the time to be careful. Just like John in Arkansas always, you know, has said that, uh, you know, when you're working on the circuit and it's not live, well, you can fool around all you want and you can experiment and you can do funny things. But when you've got power, man, that's the time to get serious and get your head in the game. Be focused and keep your mind on what you're doing. So, okay, so I've got 120 volt connected to this motor. Um, there is no switch, so what, because it's connected directly to the motor leads. But, of course, the uh, speed control still works. Now, I don't expect anything to, as far as, this isn't going to turn, because this is usually rides up against the platter, and then it puts pressure on, on the turret mechanism. But what I am trying to find out is, will the motor turn? So let me see if I can get this. See there, now we can see the motor, lead, the motor spindle. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put... Uh, Put some juice to it. Okay, Variac is hot. 
let's uh, let's bring up some power now I'm gonna turn this slowly but let's watch the motor as I do and I'll just let you know what we got for voltage okay so there we go tell you what I'm gonna do much easier to see if that motor is spinning if I put a little mark on it on the top of the spindle so let's do that shall we there now that'll that'll help you can see that mark that'll tell you if it's spinning or not so let's and it usually it won't spin until I'm at you know at least 40 or 50 volts so I get there that to that point kind of quickly there we go okay I was at uh, about 80 volts when it started to spin in a healthy way so sometimes that's the case when they're a little bit sticky so let's go up more slowly hey can one of you guys tell me when it spins so I can watch the voltage okay there we go it started to spin at about yeah about 40 volts there I am at 60 volts 75 volts 90 volts 100 volts now it's really kicking along 110 volts 120 volts I don't know if you can hear it okay so motor is good that's not going to be a problem all right so I'll go ahead and kill power to the variac for the time being I want to see something though so right now I've got it off let me put it on a speed and just just for giggles no nothing's gonna happen oh hot damn check that out guys and look at listen to that if you can that doesn't sound too bad I think that's gonna work I don't want to touch that frame while it's energized so I'll just handle a switch here I'll just real carefully handle the plastic switch there's off let's move it up to 78 see if we go oh, check it out man that's smooth that's gonna work great okay that was 45 now we'll go to 33 oops looks like I'm getting caught on the cardboard I think I'll quit while I'm ahead all right man so so what I have done is demonstrated that the motor works and that the speed control linkage works smoothly and engages the turret and pushes the turret up against the idler wheel and the idler wheel turns so I've also established that there's not a lot of noise there's no there, there are no dimples so there's no thumping everything turns pretty smoothly so it's just again going to be a matter of cleaning and lubrication so I think this was a successful test all right I'll get uh, I'll get back to work let's uh, dump power on the Variac